to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy during this time and that you guys are having a great beginning of December. I have for you on this video how to make a melted snowman cookie. <coughs> They're going to be the hit at whatever gathering that you're at. Whoever you give these to, whoever eats them, they're just gonna say how freaking adorable they are. Just take a look at them. <coughs> how cute they are. Just... <coughs> like a little buddy. They look so sad though, because they're melting, obviously. Melted snowman cookie. I have not included a step-by-step -step instruction in this video on how to make the chocolate circle sugar cookie, but I have linked down below the recipe that I did use. The only thing that I didn't include in the recipe was the baking powder because I find that when I want a sugar cookie to be decorated with royal icing, I want the consistency to be the same. And the only way that you can guarantee that the cookie is gonna turn out to be the same size is if you take out the baking powder. So that's tip number one, take out the baking powder. To make the circle for the sugar cookie, I just used literally a glass I turn over and then just use it as a sugar cookie. Or you can go online and buy a circle cookie cutter. <laughs> to make all of these are one batch of chocolate sugar cookies that are in the shape of circles, one batch of royal icing, and that includes four cups of powdered sugar, four tablespoons of egg whites, three tablespoons of water for consistency, orange food coloring and black food coloring. I don't have orange food coloring, so I used red and yellow, but you can use orange or red and yellow, whatever you prefer. You need piping bags. I have here a box of 24 piping bags. You need piping tips. So you are looking for the orange and the black, really, really small piping tips. And for the white one, you do need a bigger tip just so that more royal icing can come out at once. And on the ones that I have showing here, there are little M&Ms on top. And you need about 30 large marshmallows. <laughs> What you're gonna do first is you're gonna take the egg whites and you're gonna put them into the bowl with the whisk attachment attached and you're just going to whisk the eggs for about two minutes until they're light and fluffy. You're gonna add the icing sugar and the water and you're gonna whip on high for about five to eight minutes until you see that it has turned a really glossy white color and everything is well combined together. For the first layer of the cookie, the white icing, you do want it to have a kind of runny consistency just so that it can spread out in time before it starts to harden and really create that beautiful glossy top that you're looking for. And for the black and the orange, you do want a kind of stiffer consistency just because you don't want it to run when you do put it on the marshmallow, all right? going to do is you're going to want to make these marshmallow faces. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a sharp knife and you're going to take a marshmallow and you're going to cut about two thirds of the way down. Just trying to make it look as realistic as possible. And I think the marshmallow is just a bit too big for that. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the black icing here and you're just going to draw two eyeballs right at the top. Wow. And then one mouth down at the bottom, make it a little bit bigger kind of like they're screaming. And then you're gonna to wanna to make the nose. So what you're gonna do is take the orange one, kind of gather it and then pull it like it's a carrot nose. And there you have it, it's that easy. The next step is you're gonna take one of these chocolate cookies and you're just kind of draw an outline as if snow has melted. And so you're gonna kind of wanna do like a very loose kind of back and forth pattern, go down the side of the cookie if you want. That's like a big melted piece of snow. And then you're gonna go around again and just fill it in. Don't worry if it drips off the side. That's kind of better because you kind of want to create that melted snow effect. Go. And you want to be quite generous when you do this just because you want to tap it out and make sure that all the lines disappear. Go, go, okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of give it just a little jiggle here tap it. It's okay again that it, it has fell over the side. That is actually better. And then what you're going to do is take one of these marshmallows and you're just going to place it in like so, so it gets stuck to the bottom. And then what you're going to do right away is take the black and you're just going to create little dots as if it's the button on his jacket. And you can kind of just put them wherever you feel like you want to because that'll really create the effect 
of again a melting snowman there you go so the final touch is you're just going to now that it is kind of dry you're going to create the arms you're going to just create one line and then you're going to create three little ones up at the top just be really careful putting those on Rain. tutorial on how to make melted snowman cookies don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos and I'll see you guys on the next one bye